So right now we're going to make shrimp chipotle. Classic dish that was a signature dish at Palace Cafe back in 1996. Probably still is. It's named after the color of the Chifuncta River. And what gives it its color is the Worcestershire sauce, for the most part. In the Worcestershire sauce is tamarind, which is that dark color. So we're going to start with uh, about a tablespoon of salted whole butter. And we're going to put that in our hot pan. We'll let that slowly melt to where we want it to be. I like to use Teflon because it makes cleanup much easier. So we swirl that a little bit. You want to make sure your pan is a little warm before you put the butter in it, otherwise it takes too long. What we're going to do is we're going to take these mushrooms that we have. These are carminis, portobellos, shiitakes, and we've roasted them off in the oven, plain, for about a half an hour at 350 degrees already. So they're pre-roasted. Once we start getting some bubbles in there, we got the flame on high. Can we get that bubble there? It's going to start browning a little bit. I don't want it to brown too much because it'll get too dark. And we'll have bernoisette or brown butter. So here we go. We're going to add those mushrooms to that. All right. So because we've already roasted the mushrooms a little bit, there's not a lot of water in there. Because what we're trying to do is evaporate the water that's in the mushrooms as quickly as possible due to the fact that if we don't evaporate the water quickly enough, it's going to turn into a liquidy mess. We don't want that because we're trying to get the moisture out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to get the moisture out of it. So what we want to do is we want to set, spread the mushrooms around on the saute pan a little bit. And patience is the virtue here. We just want to let them sit there. So you can see where the mushrooms are still kind of gray and mushroom colored right here. You see that? It's kind of white. It's pretty good. But what we're looking for is in about 30 seconds, as long as we don't move everything, it'll turn brown on the other side. And that's going to be a roasted mushroom. Now, if I get impatient and I start to toss it around and get all excited about it, it's going to take longer. So the longer it takes, the longer it takes. People, when they're hungry, they want to eat. So you can't really smell it, but I can smell it. I can smell the roasted flavor coming out of the mushrooms. So what we're going to do here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them over. See what I'm looking for. If I toss it, it's going to look different. See that right there? That's what we're looking for. So that's what we're looking for. It's kind of hard to tell on that really see it on the white mushroom. See that browning right there? So I'm going to flip it just to get it a little bit mixed around a bit. And then we're looking, so you see that right there, right there. That's roasted mushroom. That's what you look for. And I can smell it. Can you smell it? You can smell it. All right. So to that, we're going to add some Gulf shrimp. These are 40-50s, two a pound. that are seasoned with a little Creole seasoning, Tony's I used. All right. Add that to that. Spread that around a little bit. Grill it. You want that smoke and that heat, that flame that kisses it right there? It gives it flavor. If you overcook your shrimp, it's gonna be a terrible dish. So what we're doing is we're sauteing the mushrooms, sauteing the shrimp, a little bit of butter, roll it around a little bit. Shrimp cook fast. So that's called saute, which means to jump. So we're jumping the shrimp and the mushrooms from the back, from the front of the pan to the back of the pan. All right, now I'm going to take this off because I'm done with that. We're going to get back to it. All right, pull it out. So we have our hot pan. To that, we're going to add about four ounces of Worcestershire sauce. Let that reduce a little bit. So what we're looking for is, it's flat in the middle right there. We have all these bubbles around the edges. You can swirl it to get it hotter. What we're looking for is bubbles across the whole top surface of the, of the thing. Not little bubbles, but we're looking for bubbles like that. See how when you swirl it, it all bubbles up? That's what we're looking for for the whole thing. So 
and let it reduce, the Worcestershire shear reduce down until it's got bubbles going all the way across the top. So reduce from four ounces, it's reducing to about an ounce and a half. See that, see how it's bubbling across the top like that? It's getting there. So we're going to add some crystal hot sauce, not Tabasco, Tabasco is too spicy, that's about an ounce. We're going to let that reduce down. We're trying to concentrate the flavor of the crystal hot sauce and the Worcestershire sauce. See how thick it's getting, it's looking good. We're looking for a glaze, almost the thickness of uh, syrup, like breakfast pancake syrup. All right. And then we're going to add, see how it's bubbled up all the way across the top? That's what we're looking for. And we're going to add some fresh lemon juice. That's about an ounce and a half. So that's about a whole layer. You want to have all that stuff ready to go before you start the process. If you do squeeze fresh lemon, you just strain it through your fingers. All right, now we're going to add that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call it, it's called Monte au beurre, to mount with butter. So there's a little butter in there already, but that's all been absorbed by the mushrooms and shrimp. I'm going to take about two tablespoons of butter. Put it in there, and I'm going to swirl it like that. So this would be also called a Creole Meniere butter. I'm going to break the chunk up a little bit. All right. and then we're going to add, so it's got nice thick, it's called a, see the, it's called a nappe, all right, where you put the back of the spoon in, and it coats the back of the spoon. We're going to add our mushrooms and shrimp back. And the shrimp, see, they're already cooked. And they're sitting there and carrying over cooking. We got some green onions. Toss it around a bit. And then we would serve this over rice or mashed potatoes. Or you can just serve it as it is. guide it onto it. So what we're looking for is the final product. You have a, an equal amount of sauce to shrimp, to mushrooms. You're looking for this nice golden brown, which is the color of the Chifuncta River, which is just north of here. That's it. Shrimp Chifuncta. Got it. Got to love it. It's easy, easy, easy.